welcome to the outdoors. It unfortunately looks like we're indoors because the gun range is closed. But I'm not really sure why, but hopefully they'll be done with it soon so then we can start playing with more guns. Anyway, today I thought I'd make an EDC video. EDC stands for everyday carry. Now, in your typical everyday carry, like most people, you'll have a wallet, keys, a hat if you have a hat, I have a hat, and glasses if you're blind like me. And then I also have a watch that I have with me, and then, like most women, I got a hair tie. So now, another thing that I carry, not everybody usually carries these, but this is a box knife. I carry it at work, and use it at work, use it wherever. Really handy. And then another thing that I carry as well is this. This is my Taurus G2 9mm. This is my carrying conceal pistol. It's got a uh, 12 round mag in it. 13 with one in the chamber. And in the state of Minnesota, which I live in, you have to have an everyday, or not an everyday, uh, permit to carry, license to carry that, which is good for five years. Are you okay? Easy, dude. Another thing that is really important to carry that no one really mentions is this. This is a belt. You've probably been hit by one of these before when you were a child. I know I was. These are more handy than you think because you can take these, wrap it around something, pull yourself up. They're very, very strong. And then another useful thing is, is if you just say you're out lost somewhere, not often where you get lost in the woods, but you're out somewhere, you get lost, you cut the shit out of your leg or your foot or whatever, you can take this thing and use it as like a, a tourniquet or whatever you want to call it. You can stick your arm in it and then pinch it off and stop the flow of blood to save your life. So that is one thing you should never forget to have, or if you're not wearing one, you should probably wear one because they can come in pretty good use. So that is what my everyday carry is for on my person. Now, another thing that I like to have with me, I can't carry it with me in buildings because a lot of people would freak out and think I got a bomb. I'm not really sure what, most of the terrorists and stuff, which is whatever, but is my tactical man purse. Now, the most important thing you can have in your tactical man purse is this. It's a water bottle. Now, water is very crucial to life, so it's always good to have a thing of water with you because without water, you would die, and dying is bad for your health. So, it's a good tip for you to remember. Anyway, so, other than the water bottle, in my lovely purse I have, I also carry a set of tools, so I've got pliers here, and then I've got a multi-tool, which has got another smaller pliers in it, and then it comes with um, a little saw, a beer opener for those just-in-case beers that you carry around with you, and a small scissors, a normal knife, a Phillips screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver, so those are all the little multi-tools that come in this. Now these you can get literally anywhere, Walmart, Fleet Farm, Target, Kmart, if there's Kmart still around, you can get those anywhere. And now another thing I like to carry with me is an extra cell phone. Now this is uh, my old phone that I used to have, it still works, I just keep it in my bag because just in case if the phone I'm using breaks or dies, I always have an extra one. Now another good thing to have with your cell phone is this one's an indestructible one supposedly this is their uh android's indestructible smartphone and it works pretty well i've dropped this on many occasions and it did not crack did not break it took a lot of shit that i threw at it and it works still works just fine i just wanted to upgrade to a new phone so that's another that's what a good use for your old phone is and then i also have uh another charger to charge this phone i need to get another charger to charge this phone that i'm using right now because that's uh Samson S8, so they take a different style of charger, but and then to have a 
this green thing on top of that is a portable charger. So you just charge that up and take it with you wherever you go. It'd probably only charge my new phone up to, I don't know, 30%, but that's better than nothing. And then a lighter. It's always nice to have. And then it's always good to keep all your stuff in Ziploc bags to keep everything dry. So that's another thing you should always have as well. <clears throat> another thing I also like to carry with me since I live up north in the state of Minnesota where 85% of the year it's cold. There's hand warmers. These are very nice to have. And for those who don't know, these, you can buy them in Fleet Farm. You just open them up and then they look like a, they got a little sack full of BBs, you just shake it up and then it heats up. So that's always a nice thing to have. And then for the heating and stuff, an extra pair of uh, bitch mittens to keep your hands warm. Another important thing to have is paracord. So if you don't have a belt, paracord is another good thing to keep with you. But it's always good to have both just in case. Lots of paracord because you can literally use this stuff for anything. Hell, I've even made this whole gun sling out of paracord right here need to put it on one of my guns i'm not quite sure which one i want to put it on yet but you can use paracord for a lot of stuff so and another thing i always carry with me is a set of binoculars this is the tasco brand of binoculars these are fairly inexpensive it was probably like 150 bucks because i know they make a lot more expensive binoculars than just this one. This one is a um, an 8 by 20 by 50 zoom. That's pretty decent size compared to my hand. So, I mean, it take up quite a bit of room in your man purse. It's a nice set. But they're always handy to have, so if you go out hunting, you can see that deer that's a thousand yards away, or you can see that those geese flying, or whatever, whatever you need to be looking at. Checking out your neighbor to see what he's doing. Another thing I like to carry is extra pair of socks and then a sweatshirt. So then I keep myself nice and warm and then I can fold all that small stuff in my sweatshirt and then keep it nice and neat and tucked away. And then if my backpack or my man purse gets wet, this will kind of absorb some of the water before it gets to all this other stuff that's in a Ziploc bag. And then the last thing on my man purse carry list that I have in there is my hunting knife. Now this is just a Remington five and a half inch blade knife, fixed blade that I use for hunting. And then it's got its holster and then the little loop thing I married, married, made. For my belt and then this will go around my leg and then i lied this isn't the last thing the last thing i have is my folding knife now this is you can find these in any any auto parts store for some reason these are those tack force i don't know if you'll be able to read it it's got a pretty nasty glare on it but yeah that'll yeah it kind of makes it hard to see but it's called tack force and then they're spring loaded. You can, they're like 15 bucks. They have them in black, blue, red for the fire, fire department branded ones and police branded and green for military ones. This one uh, is, doesn't really say, but this one also comes with uh, the seatbelt cutter and then this little window glass breaker focus. Things have a hard time focusing on that, that, right here. For when you drop your car in the lake, you can bust out your window so you don't drown and die. So yeah, I think that is all that I have with me in my man purse and on my person. So, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Hi to you guys, I'm really sorry. I forgot this one last thing. This is very, very important, so don't ever forget it like a dumbass like I did. This is what we call extra ammo. Always have extra ammo with you. And do not forget it. Right, Chester?
Don't forget your ammo. <laughs> Thanks for watching.